Welcome to the Replicator Product Overview. Here we'll review the top challenges that guide customers towards the solution, the value it provides, and an overview of the three key business scenarios where Replicator has had success. So, what are the top challenges? Well, really, what we've seen is organizations from large and small have multiple SharePoint farms. Think of mergers and acquisitions, think of organizations with several global headquarters, and even individual consultants that are working in remote location across the United States or across the world. Also, a lot of the major replicator customers have the challenge of sharing information over low bandwidth and high latency networks. This even makes collaborating over email hard. Also, it's time consuming to manage content when collaborating with external partners. So email's just not working because they could lose track of what is the latest version and maybe it's a contract and what happens if that value in the contract's the wrong one. Also, inability to quickly recover from SharePoint outages. SharePoint's different than most solutions and can't just easily be turned back on if different pieces are not working correctly. So let's talk about the value that Replicator can provide. So to overcome the challenges that our customers face, Replicator provides byte differencing to overcome the low bandwidth and high latency so that you're only sending the smallest package, as we call it, from one location to the next. Also, this is done live. So as an event happens, it's captured and it's sent across as fast as that low bandwidth environment will allow you to do. Another interesting thing that people don't see is that in the background there's active fault tolerance and failover. So if, again, let's use the scenario of load bandwidth, if that bandwidth closes off, Replicator knows and understands that and can either send to a different replication node, a different farm, or it can just wait till the internet comes back. Also, a real high technology thing that people might take for granted is not only can we do synchronization between different SharePoint versions, but also between different replicator versions. So this means that if you have ships that are located and can't easily download the full package of an upgrade, then they can be on a different version of SharePoint and replicator than the one you have at headquarters. Also, we've tried to make it easy and that administration is through the central administration pages, so where a normal SharePoint admin goes through. This basically, the value we provide is with some effort, you can set this up and you can have 24 by 7, 365 and a half SharePoint availability. Let's talk about a little bit of the main use cases or scenarios. You know, for, graph, for geographically distributed farms, user expect a level of responsiveness from their collaboration environment equivalent to commercially available products. Whether in a large organization with several globally distributed headquarters to a collective of consultants who work across multiple US states or European countries, without having a SharePoint server nearby, and especially if you're in a location that has connectivity issues, the level of responsiveness is hard to meet. By replicating to the environments that are close to the end user, Replicator meets those expectations by providing simultaneous features of the synchronization and advanced features that we talked about of network and queuing and, and making sure there's conflict resolution. Now for continuity and, and disaster recovery, we, we live in the, the digital age and, and it's no longer acceptable not to be connected to your business critical and in all honesty, even your draft content. So organizations spend a lot of time planning, organizing, and building infrastructure to ensure that content is always available during planned and unplanned outages. 
A typical scenario is to build two identical SharePoint farms and copy content from the production over to the disaster recovery one. There are many ways to do this, but none is as fast as content replication. You can move all or select a subset of content to always be available in that secondary environment. Also, the environments themselves can be different and you can allow our customers the ability to choose with different authentication um, methods, different security, depending on what their disaster recovery environments are. Now, speaking of that too, that flows directly into intranet and extranet. And, you know, it's a little bit of a niche, but one I'm confident that will go far. In my days as a SharePoint consultant, we are working on a lot of external communication projects. You know, sharing information, uh, just collaboration content, uh, business critical information, and even applications between an organization's customers, partners, or maybe even vendors. There are many ways to set up an extranet, just like um, continuity of operations and disaster recovery. And being able to selectively choose content allows our prospects the ability to, again, decide what infrastructure they're going to choose, decide authentication method security, and infrastructure options, providing a lot of flexibility for our customers. So in summary, Replicator provides value to the organizations, large and small, to meet the expectations of the end user. These capabilities have large impact on the productivity of that workforce and can ensure the security well of nations. No, I'm not exaggerating um, that much because the US and Canadian armed services rely on replication for truly mission critical content. Why can't our other prospects?